Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dub K Dad. I was going to do a different video, but every time I got into the video, I kept thinking about comments made in the last video I uploaded about my time in Nats. And I appreciate a lot of the comments you guys left me. A lot of them very encouraging. Um, but apparently, there's more than a couple people that hate me. And that's cool. And they're probably the same people that you know, I'll have like 200 likes and then like three dislikes. <laughs> and I always wondered, who the fuck, I mean, like I'll just upload my video, it'll be like just finished processing. And if you upload videos a lot, you know what I mean. It'll just process and it'll start to go out to your subscribers. And I'll re immediately get one or two dislikes before I get likes. I'm like, are you specifically subscribed to me so you can go through and dislike all my shit? I mean, thank you for the view. Whether you like me or not, you still gave me a view count, so thanks, guy. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> but, uh, so that I can do my real video, I gotta get this shit off my chest. Um,. So when I'm talking about a deck being linear, that means a deck that has very limited plays. Um, and inherently, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, for instance, Hero Beat is a linear deck. Um, you know, you, I mean, they're powerful. With, with decks that are linear, they... It's hard to misplay with them because you have one goal and one goal only. You know, find a way to grind out your boss monster and ride it to victory. With Hero Beat, it was Shining, or, you know, just Thunder King or Alias set five, and then just beat down with Thunder King or Alias until you could make a Shining. Evil Swarm's the same way. Do some tricks with Thunderbird if you draw kind of shitty, or you know do some you know do some beefy damage with Heliotrope, and then finally you draw a monster because you run fifty thousand traps, going to Ophion, and then just tank on Ophion to victory. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's that, perfectly fine. I just don't like decks that just sit there the deck just sits there you have an opportunity f I mean if your opponent leaves the field wide open say, oh I'll poke for 25.50 what? it's bullshit wide open field I want to OTK I want to get this shit over with you know I want to get some ice cream I want to get some cookies and shit before the next round starts I, wanna, I gotta pee damn it <laughs> Let's get this round over with. You know, that, that's why I like Hieratics and you know, Plant Synchro and Synchro Cat and Teledad. I like decks and like during GOAT format, you fuckers who like, I'm gonna flip flop my spies on my Sukiyomi. Fuck that. I played Reasoning Game. Let's get this shit over with. I have to pee in between rounds. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm not taking 40 minutes per round. I'm getting this shit done in 10 minutes. I'm winning. Sign the slip. Sign the slip. Drop. I don't care if you drop, but just sign the slip so I can turn into the judge. I got to pee and I'm hungry. <laughs> you know? That's why I couldn't get into fucking Fire Fist. I tried so hard. I made a video. Please help me like this day. It was just so shitty. Just like, some bear, a bear. Swing for 16. Set another formation. Set four more cards pass. Oh, so many monster warning. Activate Tinky. Then another bear. Swing for 32. Get two Tinkies. Or two formations. Make Tiger King. Get another formation. Set two more past turn. What? Fuck that. <laughs> I mean, even... Girgia had a little bit of tanking thing, but it had ex very explosive turns. I mean, the deck had two card OTKs. Ugh. Ugh. 
feel better and it's off my chest. <laughs> uh, next, somebody had mentioned uh, Dex that lose to Ophion and not understanding what I meant by Dex having natural outs. Um, like people think that heroes automatically lose to Ophion not realize, you know, because because they can't go into their sync, uh, their uh, fusions. Well, you do realize that Excalibur is a card, and it's big as fuck. It could run the fuck over Ophion. <laughs> I mean, it has a pretty good uh, rank four toolbox. It doesn't auto lose to Ophion. Um, Elemental dragons or incarnate dragons or fucking dragon rulers don't auto lose. To dragons, let's see how many evil swarm decks made top 64. Okay, how many made top 32? How many made top 8? Hmm. You get what I'm saying? They don't fucking auto lose. I lose to that shit because whenever I play against evil swarm, I open triple max C, triple Valor. Then I max C because they have to make Ophion. And then I draw Reborn or some stupid shit, you know? <laughs> but, um, but it doesn't auto lose. And the deck has natural outs, you know, fucking blaster. And, you know, there's things you can do. You can set up and fuck that deck up hardcore. Hieratics, on the other hand, don't have natural outs to Ophion. You know, you don't have ways to search your out. You have to wait till you draw a chalice or something. And then hope it goes through they don't have the pandemic and then be on about your merry way. Otherwise you're just sitting there drawing Tefnuit, Sue, a set. Well I guess I'll normal summon a set so I don't get ran the fuck over for game this turn. Oh you have compulse and swing for game anyway? Oh no, you have Shockmaster called Monster Fix. Lovely. That's off my chest. And then finally, I guess this is a guy that's formerly at our locals. I'm not going to call his channel out. I don't want to give him more credit than he deserves. But he referred to me as the biggest elitist asshole he's ever met. Yet, I don't know who the fuck you are, guy. Uh, I'm a 40-year-old something wasting my life away on Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean say so I don't get the elitist part I, I am an asshole but I mean I'm a fucking man I'm not your love partner I'm not gonna be all sugar and you know sweet and sugary with you I'm a man I'm supposed to be an asshole but elitist I don't think so I think some people get their terminology and their semantics fucked up to me, to be elitist means that you don't want to deal with people you feel are below you. That is not me. I don't like to deal with people who ask for your advice, and then when you give it to them, come up with 50 million reasons why your advice is wrong. Well, guy, don't fucking ask for my advice. I'm not saying this person did, but I'm just explaining to you how I am. You know, you know, you have friends who aren't quite good as a game as you are, and they say, "Hey, you know, I got this. I know I got this idea of working on. What do you think?" And you look through it, and you're like, um, "Why are you running Smashing Ground, guy? <laughs> the card ain't doing shit this format." Well, you know, it's, it's, it's so I can use it on defense position Jujitsu Masters. Who the fuck is playing that card, guy? <laughs> So you tell him to take it out, and he won't take it out. He said, well, no, I need it, you know. He said, well, that's what Dark Hole's for. I know, but if I don't draw, I can draw a smash. Dude, you get what I'm saying? There are a lot of people like that. And I don't mind. I like helping people. But the a 
asshole in me comes out if you come to me ask a question and I try to be as honest with you as possible and explain to you and then you insist that you're right all I can think of is why the fuck are you asking me if you're right just come up to me and say hey I want to show you this I don't want your opinion I just want you to look at it and then just nod your head and look pretty that's what you should say to me if you're coming to me with your deck. Not what do I think about it, but just nod your head in accordance and just smile and look pretty as you're looking through the deck. I don't know, man. This video is long as fuck. <laughs> Alright, now I promise, uh, if not tonight or tomorrow, I'll get the other video. I'll redo the other video and get it loaded up. I just had to get that shit off my chest. It was pissing me the fuck off. <laughs> Alright, I'm out.